Yu Yo! I got something to say. Let's get it. Nieves was working at Burger King in East Harlem around 1230 Sunday morning when police say an armed robber came in, stole $100 from the cash register, and fatally shot the young cashier. Investigators now say the gunman was 30-year-old Winston Glenn, arrested yesterday and charged with murder. First and foremost, we want to say our condolences go out to the young lady who lost her life. And our condolences go out and our prayers go out to the family and to the friends of the people who knew this young lady. Now here it is, this fool on winning Burger King, Burger King, and you robbed the place. And the young woman was so scared because she never been in that position in her life. Struggled to open the register, but finally opened it, gave you the money, and you still shot and killed her in cold blood in Burger King. Man, I hope this dude, you know, there's really no punishment that I can say that this dude should deserve, but I hope this dude get the death penalty. Man, we gotta, the justice system gotta bring back hangings. Bring, start hanging these niggas again, man. Yeah, man, we got to start doing the, the uh, guillotine off with your head. I'm talking about live TV. Live TV, man. Fuck this shit, dog. It said, man, a young woman couldn't even live the rest of her life because you had a, a low-life, weak piece of shit male come in her job of Burger King you only get forty, fifty dollars, hundred, fifty dollars at the most. And here it is: you took this young girl's life, man. As parents, man, you gotta be careful of, you know, where you sending your kids to work at. I'm, I'm, I'm being wanted. My kids ain't working in no more, in no McDonald's or no Burger King in the ghetto, in the hood. No, man, we going out there with them good white folks. Matter of fact, my kids is going Chick-fil-A. They going Chick-fil-A, man. We ain't doing no Chick-fil-A, man. Keep putting, man, man, you putting your kids in the war zone. And this is what I'm saying. A robbery can go on and happen anywhere. But I'm saying you got to make sure you putting your kids in the best and safest position. That girl was in a war zone. She she right there sitting in the ghetto in the hood with it. And, you know, a lot of fools are running around up, up and down through these streets with nothing to do. Really, bro? You going to go rob a Burger King? And I'm going to say it again. This is why I say a lot of these so-called gangsters, thug, they punks. Cause a lot of these dudes, they don't, they don't keep it G, keep it G, keep it in the streets. Why are you gonna try to go rob a Burger King? Ain't no money in her. You in the streets all day. You claim you know the big homie. You claim you know the person with the, they got the heroin, the weed, got the Molly. You, you, you claim you know these people. Why don't you go rob them? Y'all boys be having so many ops. so many ops on on Instagram and Facebook and social media, but y'all don't. Go go smoke them. Go rob them. Go shoot and kill other people who are living the way you live. Burger King is not your op. The young lady who lost her life was not the op. Y'all killing and robbing all the wrong y'all 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 so tough and so gangster, but y'all only get y'all only want to rob and shoot and hurt people who are civilians. This is factual information. So I ain't got no respect for them. Blow their head off. Kill them. Throw them in jail forever. They don't deserve to live. They don't deserve a second chance. You took somebody's daughter away for Burger King money. This shit's got to stop, man. That's some sad shit, man. For real. Here it is, her parents thinking, I, I want to teach my daughter, you know, hard work and dedication. And so she understands what she's going to have to do in this life. She's going to have to work. 
So here's a valuable lesson, baby. You, you want this, you want that. Instead of us giving it to you, go to work. Get your money, baby, and you can do you. Lost her life, man. Lost her life, man. Man, I pray, man. I pray, man. That every day that dude in jail is is hell for him. It's don't be trying to run in there and get and get and uh and join up with one of the gangs for protection or become a Muslim or be uh, or, or become a Moor. No, sir. people like that. They got in jail. It needs to be an outcast group. These dudes get no protection. We it's he's 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 out of boys that we beat up on. When somebody comes to the jail, they want to join our gang, uh, and we ready to beat somebody up. You just pick one of these dudes in the outcast group, and y'all just go kick ass on them. Yeah, these are the rapists. You know, you know the people who kill women and kids. Yeah, they the outcast. Just just do what you do with them. Man, come on, man. We got to put our foot down on this shit, man. This shit crazy. And this shit sad. I want. I just wanted to wait. Um, to really speak on the story, man. So I made sure I got all the details and everything correct. But man, that shit said, bro. Y'all drop y'all comment. Y'all let us know how y'all feel about the situation. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first time coming across the video. We love y'all. Peace. Hey yo, I got something to say. Let's get it.